us indians whenever we want to show someone that we've achieved something in life always go for the usual german trio in 2022 mercedes benz india was able to sell over 3000 units of the e class long wheelbase that doesn't really scream unique if you want unique you should definitely check out this this over here is a lexus es 300h it is a very cool car and let me tell you why this is one of the coolest luxury vehicles that you can buy you must be typing away in the comments saying it's a spruce top toyota camry but in the same way a bugatti shares parts with volkswagens or an a4 is a jetta the es 300h is a massive step up from a camry a simple glance at the vehicle and you can immediately understand that this is a lexus you have this big imposing grille up front which is a signature design element for lexus now you also have these aggressive stylish and angular looking headlights which look very unique and is a breath of fresh air when you compare it to any german counterpart those headlights that the germans make nowadays well all of them look very similar to any other model in their range and moreover this car is finished in this lovely color called sonic titanium and under different lighting it looks very different and yeah i have to say it is a stunning color you can see hints of gold and it's just not a very german looking silver it's very unique in the way it shines now this is the es 300h h stands for hybrid and this car is powered by a 2.5 liter naturally aspirated inline 4 engine which is supported by a hybrid motor combined it makes not a lot of power it's pretty underwhelming if you consider it's only 215 horsepower but that is not what lexus intended because this thing is butter smooth and unlike other hybrid systems that you'll find in like a bmw x1 or any other german uh, hybrid system that is currently available in india this thing has a proper hybrid mode the electric motor and the electric battery is big enough that it can go into an ev only mode as well it has region braking it has uh, ev only mode it has a hybrid mode so it's a proper proper hybrid not something like a mild hybrid that you'll find nowadays in the indian market and this thing is not something that will make you hold on for dear life instead it is something when you sit in it you want to contemplate about what makes life dear how corny was that so why would you buy a lexus over a mercedes or a bmw well it's because of this fantastic interior now i know a lot of people will be typing away again in the comments saying oh it's just a hyped up or a spruced up toyota camry it's nothing really special well sit in a es 300h and you can immediately feel a massive change in build quality or even the quality of materials that lexus has used in making this car if you sit in a mercedes it squeaks and rattles not this this is built solid i mean everything is just bolted together so damn well moreover the interior is laid out in a very minimalistic and simplistic way you don't have to use a lot of brains even if you're sitting for the first time in this car uh, now this is a 2024 model so it's got an a slight refresh and that is most visible in the interior uh, lexus used to give you a trackpad over here but that trackpad is now gone everything can be used only using this touch screen over here uh, the touch screen is pretty nice the graphics and the display is very nice easy to use you have apple carplay android auto you also have this lovely looking lexus watch on the right hand side of the screen now overall the interior like i said very simplistic although you have some really cool design elements for example these door handles they look like they've come straight out of an art museum uh you also have a wireless charging pad a nice looking chunky three spoke steering wheel you also have a digital gauge cluster in front of you which has a whole lot of customization and all of that and on top of the dashboard over here in front of you in the instrument cluster you have your different driving mode selectors so you have three driving modes you have eco sport and normal and i mean sports mode in this car well i think so it's just pointless because why would you want to drive such a serene luxurious car in sports mode and on the right hand side you have your traction control off button again i don't see a point in using it but at least you have the option moreover this car has a beautifully specked interior tan leather on the inside you also have ventilated seats this is the luxury model so it gets all the bells and whistles that you'll 
want in a car like this you have lovely wood trim all around not none of that carbon fiber or piano black stuff it's proper wood and it looks absolutely stunning but the real party is at the back this is where you want to be in the ES300h what a lovely back seat you have the perfect seat i mean great under the thigh support the backrest is very nice and yeah it's just a very nice place to be in of course you have sun shades as well and if you drop this down you have a whole bunch of controls over here on the armrest you have ventilated seats you have a lot of different buttons i am not sure what all of them do but they have some sort of a function you also have rear uh, blinds which can go up and down using this button and of course you have a chauffeur mode as well so there are a couple of buttons over here on this seat and if you press them the seat goes forward or backward so you can have a proper proper chauffeur driven experience so how about we take it out for a spin and see how it is to drive the ESC model The 2.5 liter naturally aspirated engine uh, with the hybrid system is connected to a CVT transmission. Now, CVT transmissions aren't the most sportiest transmissions out there, but they are one of the smoothest transmissions. And like I said, Lexus's goal was to make this one heck of a smooth car, and they've definitely achieved that. Engine is butter smooth, and of course, when you're in lower speeds, like below, I guess, 30 or 20 kph, it goes into electric only, and it's dead silent even the petrol engine is dead silent and the thing is the silence is also because of negative sound that the car plays through the speakers so in order to make the cabin as quiet as possible there is a negative sound or negative noise that comes through the speakers which cancels out all of the noise coming from uh, the car itself and stuff outside now of course you have a couple of sporty things around the car you have sports mode you have these paddle shifters but again this isn't the car that you would want to drive in a sporting manner and this is a very comfortable and it's a wafter if you know what i mean range rovers and other massive luxury cars are called wafters and this is exactly that so quiet so smooth and you barely even know that the engine is running that's how quiet and smooth it is but this isn't the place that you would want to be sitting in the ES300h so let's hop into the back seat and see how it is at the rear and in the back is where you want to be because what a back seat i mean there isn't screens or any fancy touch control buttons or anything of that sort whatever is there is what is necessary lexus has focused on proper old school luxury the seat is fantastic the ride quality over here in the back is fantastic but of course you have a couple of cool features that can impress your friends for example you have this electronically operated blind at the rear i'm going to keep it shut you have ventilated or heated seats you also have this uh, seat control function over here and you also have your infotainment system controls over here at the rear as well and you have sun shades like i said and overall the back seat is just very comfortable and if road noise or if engine noise was coming at all in the front it's not at all coming at the back you can barely understand that there is a engine powering this thing it feels like a proper ev even though it is a hybrid The reason why I love the ES300h especially after a whole day of spending some time with it is because Lexus has focused on all of the right things. Mercedes, BMW, Audi has gone down the tech route. They have screens, flashy lights and all of that stuff all around the car. I mean, you can barely find a button in any modern BMW or Mercedes. Whereas in Lexus, there are buttons and Lexus has focused on the things that really matter in a luxury car. good ride quality an amazing and comfortable interior and most importantly on how the rear passenger feels i mean it has all of the things that you would want you have a proper chauffeur mode for the rear back seat you have lovely looking interiors and the build quality is just top notch and that is exactly why you should check out the ES300h before you buy your next luxury car thank you so much for watching this video subscribe to the channel and comment down below what you think of the Lexus ES300h would you pick it over something like an Audi A6 or a Mercedes E class or something like that so comment all of that down below follow us on instagram and thank you so much for watching